Korean Safaraz for the last time. If you don't answer now, I will send him to free shipping and handing to Allah. Let us see. Look like he is playing games, he will not answer. Uh, yes, Safaraz, how are you? Your camera is on, by the way. Yeah, I told you, sit in the phone so we can see your ass and see if your face. All right. Le leave it until the day of judgment. Leave what? Okay. Okay, how you know that Jesus is going to arrive? Okay, why? Why? Why Damascus? Like he's from Syria, the guy? Ah, uh, so you know, Israel rejected him, so he will go to Damascus. Why he don't go to Mecca? Why he don't come back down to Mecca? Isn't it this is the holy land of Allah, where the house of Allah? Don't you see there is something stupid and silly there? If the Messiah is coming back and the most holy place is that is Mecca, according to you Muslims, that's why you kiss the black stone. By the way, do you have a picture? Do you have a picture of you kissing the black stone? Uh huh. He will kill the Antichrist. We will talk about that, by the way. But I'm asking you why he will come back to the, you mentioned Damascus. Why Damascus, not Mecca? Damascus, but we believe... Okay, your voice, your voice was muted by mistake. So uh, let us go back to zero. People did not hear you. Sorry for that. So you said, you said to me, Jesus will come down where? In the Damascus. Damascus, why? Because the Imam Mahdi isn't be there. And Mahdi is there in Damascus too? No, he will be there. Oh, he is coming there. Huh? And why Damascus? We don't we don't know, but it's that location where the Imam Mahdi isn't be the white mosque. If, if, if look like the whole gang is there. So uh, Imam Ali come on, is coming to Damascus too? No, 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 no. The just the Imam Hadis will come first, and then the then the Antichrist, and then Jesus will, will come. So uh, who is this guy, Imam Mahdi? Imam Mahdi is be our our you know Imam. He's gonna he's he's gonna come to lead us until the Antichrist comes. He will lead you the, until the Antichrist come. The Jal, the Jal is coming in. Hey, if this guy is if this guy Al Mahdi, what Al Mahdi mean? Is it the writer's one? I think so. Uh -huh. And what he will do exactly? What his job? His job is to make the, the Muslims more, you know, righteous and rich and happier. And he's just come for a short, short time. Mm -hmm. He's gonna rule the, the Muslims, and then the Hajjah's gonna come, and then he's gonna cause havoc for forty days, uh -huh. and then Isa's gonna come. Okay, Jesus, where, Jesus where we can find this guy Al Mahdi in the Quran? He's not. He's not in the Quran. He's just in the, Why is it in the Quran? Allah, He dropped him because he is silly and he's not important. No, there are many people that are not mentioned in the Quran. Many people, many because messages. they are not important. What do you mean they're not important? Well, then mention to me why a person he will not be mentioned if he's important. If I talk now to about to somebody about Islam, I will not mention to you who are you. You are nobody. I will mention Muhammad, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you are not important. You don't even know how to fix your phone, my friend. Your camera is on. So listen, you are not important. You are not mentioned. Jesus is important, is mentioned. So now I'm asking you, if Al Mahdi's story is a true as a part of the religion of Islam, why we cannot find it in the Quran? Hello? He's trying to fix his camera now. <laughs> Are you there? 
Don't, your camera is off. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's on. You should worry. It's off. No worry. Are you there? What's wrong with this guy? So far as, are, you, are you there? Oh, come on, man. Don't waste my time. Yes. Stop, yes. Play, stop playing with your phone. Like you bought this phone since two days ago, and then till now you cannot stop, you know, touching the screen. Yeah. Did you notice that this phone is saying to you, "Stop touching me"? So speak to me now. Why the Mahdi is not mentioned in the Quran? Don't you think this is a fabricated story added later to Islam? It's not a fabricated story. Okay. How al, how how Al Mahdi is born? Is it true that he is born from this from the thigh of his mother? Uh, yeah. I, haven't, I, I haven't heard, heard, heard of that. Ah, you never heard. Is it true that Al-Mahdi, if he fell down when he was a kid, he fell in his ass? And he never cried? <laughs> and he never fought? Where you get that from? Uh, yeah, you can, I'm, a Christian, I'm a Christian prince. Where are you from? You, you know nothing. No. You know nothing. I said, that is not important for me. That's not important. How, That's how important. All happen. of this, all of this is something to prove to us. That Islam is just a fiction. You add stories which is not there. Your, you know, your, your, your Quran itself never mentions such a guy. You are trying simply to get away from the Messiah. You know, trying to find some important uh, characters. Uh, but who is this guy, Al Mahdi, and what he will do, and where is he? And he is supposedly the twelve Imam, isn't it? The twelve, according to some Muslims, or he is number what? What his number is? <laughs> Nobody knows his number. Is it, true, uh, is it true that he disappeared in a cave? No, no, no. no. <laughs> what do you Nobody mean, no, knows. No. Okay. Is, is Al-Mahdi is a person who was alive before and he disappeared? Listen, nobody knows. <laughs> Don't tell nobody me nobody knows. knows. What's wrong with you? Any kid can go right now and search for Al-Mahdi and he will find that Al-Mahdi was a person who was exist. And the caliphate kidnapped him, killed him, because he became important for many Muslims. And then those followers, they start making fiction that he disappeared, he's coming back, blah, 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 blah. He was born from the thigh of his mother. He is not like us. And he will come back with the Quran of Fatima, because this is the only true Quran. And you are telling me you do not know? That's the bloody uh, Shias. They're flipping crazy, isn't it? Well, what is the difference between the bloody Shia and the bloody Sunni? Both of you, you have no backup for what you say. Okay, I'm asking you, show me show me the name of Al-Mahdi in the Quran. He's not in the Quran. Totally that's that's mean you are the same the as the Shia. Don't you Muslim, you know, Muslim Sunni, they add lies? Okay, let me ask you. When the Hadith, and you are a Muslim Sunni, says, when a Muslim Sunni, he prays, Shaitan, he come and take care from his anus, and he will not stop until he make him fall. Why that is okay for you, but the story of Al-Mahdi, which is a stupid story for the Shia, is not okay. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a stupid story. I'm saying that he's, he's going to come. How do you know he's going to come? Where am I asking you? You see, the Messiah is in the Quran, um, Abraham in the Quran. Okay, if this guy is important, why is it in the Quran? We don't, we don't, we don't know exactly why it's not a crowd. Okay, let us, let us switch now from Al Mahdi because obviously you know you, you mentioned names, you do not know who they are. Obviously, if I ask you now who is his mother, you do not know. Who is Who's mother of Al Mahdi? Is it true that you Muslim you say some of you says her mother his name her name is Mary? So try you know you are trying to clone a new Jesus. Some of you says her name is Nurjah. You don't even know her name. You don't know who is he. You fabricate. One says her name is Nargis, the other one says her name is Maryam, the other one says potato, tomato. And what he is born from the thigh, I mean, how, how he is born, why he is born from the thigh? Oh, because al Mahdi will not come out from a vagina. Holy he, you know? Stupid religion, my friend. Now, let's go now to the Messiah. Why the Messiah is now in heaven and your prophet is under the grave, in the, in the, under the ground? But this is not important if he's not in as, is that your as daughter? As... Is that your daughter laughing at you? No, these joking around. Uh, okay, because I thought they were laughing at you. They're not laughing at me. Okay, I hope laughing not. At you. I hope not, because the daughters of Muhammad they were laughing at Muhammad. <laughs> so why they will not laugh at you? Anyway, continue, continue. So why Jesus in heaven? Why Jesus right now yeah. in heaven and Muhammad is under our feet? The reason why Jesus in heaven, yeah, he got risen to heaven because the Jews rejected him. So they've got another chance. 
to either accept him or uh, get help. You got a point, brother. He was the only one. I mean, guys, look at this. Look at the genius. Because the Jews rejected him, so Jesus will come back. That's funny. I thought after death, after death, people, the Jews who rejected him, they are dead long time ago. So coming back will not make any difference because they are dead. And then he will come back. That, that's mean they will meet him again only on resurrection day. So seeing him after being resurrected, the Quran says that after the point you die, there is no, that's it. You are, there is no forgiveness. There is no, that's it. Judgment day, that's that. Your, your, your time is up and your option is up. So you are making things up as usual. So for, so for us, I'm repeating again. Why Jesus is coming back according to your religion? Hello? Yeah, hello, hello. Hello. Uh, the thing is, yeah, the main thing is, yeah, he has, he has got two things to do to rectify Israel and kill the Antichrist. These are the main two things he's, 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 he's coming from. I heard, I heard that according to your religion, the Messiah, he will have a cowboy fight with the pig. Is that true? What was that, mate? Huh? What was that? Can you, can you please uh, repeat that again? I heard that the Messiah, when he come back, he and Mr. Pig, they will meet in the middle of Texas, and the pig will have two guns, the Messiah will have one gun, and then the guy who will, like, they will turn their back to each other, and they walk in different direction, and when the guy whistle, the one who shoot first, he is the winner, and according to the story, the one who will do that is the Messiah, is that correct? No, no way, you man, never got that one. Okay, so if I find you the reference, what you would do? <laughs> Here we go. This is the reference in front of you. I'm not, I'm not going to scream because this, this camera is foolish. Man. Yeah, well, the I don't know. You open, open YouTube, but just, uh, just be sure to mute it so you cannot see, you cannot have double sound. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do you see it? He will kill the swine. Yeah, yeah. I know about the killing the swine. Uh, what is that? Yeah. What is that? He says that is. He says that he will. He will kill the swine. You, I understand. He will, he will kill the swine. I get that. I get that. Why? Who is this swine? What's his business? What's the problem? Why your God Allah, his do his enemies are dog and lizard and a swine? What kind of no, God? No. What kind of God? Yeah, yeah. So? Yeah. He is going to kill the swine to show the Christians that it was haram. It was not halal for you people. He's going to show them. He's going to show you. Uh, uh, okay. So the Messiah will kill the swine to show them that it is haram to yes. eat the swine. Okay, but not all the Christians, they eat pork. This is number one. Number two, he is coming back from the behind the seven galaxies to fight with the pig. And which one? If you kill one, do you kill them all? I mean, this is the one swine. Yeah. Who is he? Is he the king of the swine? Like he is, like you know, his Hercules? No, CP. He's gonna kill one pig just to show the Christian. Look, I'm killing a pig that you should, that you should not eat. It. I have never. Uh, told if you he kill, eat. if he kill a pig, we will eat him. People kill yeah. pigs. You see, it doesn't say he will kill a pig to forbid it. It says he will kill a swine. If we kill a pig, we will say thank you, Jesus. Let us make it a barbecue. No, he's in. They the cross as well. He's in. A, he's in a smash the cross. And well, that's mean. That's mean. We will have no electricity because every every column in the street is a cross. Even your house is built by the cross. If you have no cross in your house, you will never have a house. All structures in the world based on the cross. Do you cross the street? No. Come on, CB. You know this. Hadith. Abdul, listen, Where? listen. What is the problem? Jesus do not need to kill a, to break a cross to tell the Christians a cross is wrong. Because simply he can just say that, and he do not know need to go and fight little pig. I mean, how silly you Muslims are to say that Jesus he is going to fight with the pig. I think this is symbolic to your prophet. What do you think? 
it's, it's not it's not it's, it's not stupid it's just it just that uh no no i'm saying i'm saying i'm assuming you can correct me if you wish i'm assuming that the swine here is your prophet no no no, no. why not, not prophet. you're a prophet he okay what a, what a pig he do yeah describe the the behavior of a pig obviously obviously he's crap and you know he does all sorts of crap he's 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 un, he's un, he's un, unclean the animal is un, unclean he's unclean he jumped like in the dirt right no even it's, it's even it's even the old testament he's unclean animal okay unclean but your prophet your prophet is unclean too look what your prophet he do you're a prophet he jump with dead dogs and even pigs don't do that you know you've been subject again come on well, why i am being stupid i'm reading your your, your book my friend You're so i think i think when the when your prophet muhammad was speaking about the swine he was speaking about himself because this is what the swine do even the swine don't do that he jump in water claiming it's full of garbage dead women dead, dead blood uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, blood from menstruation dead dogs and they are pieces already and the water is a stinky and that he says it's not stinky this is what the pig he says if you ask a pig what are you doing buddy he said to him, mm, you know it's not stinky it's pure nothing make the water impure so when you say to me a pig i know i think he's talking about your prophet and we have the proof because i ask you what is special about the pig you say is dirty or well, your prophet is dirty no he's in the oh, totally before okay, read the hadith read the hadith for us and explain to us how clean your prophet is no, no, about this one here. What? We're, we're, we're talking about why Jesus has, has killed, why Jesus is, is going to kill the pig. Okay, I'm That's asking you, you said to me, because he is dirty. That's mean Jesus have to be have oh. to kill Muhammad too, because both are dirty. Oh. It's because to show the Christians, I'm going to bear the cross to show you lot that you lot was on the wrong Okay, path. He, 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 he will show us that Muhammad is wrong too, because he's a pig, according to you. No. CP, come on, man. You, you okay, hold on, hold on. Aren't you the one? Okay, what is the problem with the pig? You said he is dirty, right? No, it's because of, it's because in the Old Testament, yeah, God said he eat pig, and you Christian today are eating. Yeah, pig. but you know, in the Old Testament, because pigs they they eat everything. Not now, now you know, in farm, you know what they are eating. Pigs they can eat even dead animals. They will eat even human. So if you have an animal who eat anything, then you have to be careful about eating this person, or I mean this uh, this creature, because then you can have a disease. So it was for health reason. In Islam, the pig is forbidden for what reason? It's unclean. Show me in the Quran, it says unclean. Oh, what's that verses? I don't know. Huh? If I, if, I, if I knew the verses at heart, I would okay. have known. But... What if I show you that the Quran says you can eat pigs? Yeah. The Quran says, if I show you, the Quran says you can eat pigs. It, it, it just says that only if it's for necessity. Meaning that's, that that's, mean, are... that's mean pigs are eatable and they are not, no, no problem. Doesn't matter if it's no. necessity or not. Can you eat a human? Yeah. No, that's a human, obviously not. No, you can. I can show you the reference that you can eat a human. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I challenge you. You want to challenge me? See, people got more important things to talk about. See, the, each time I put you in the corner, you say we have more important. What is your important? I, is your phone? You Listen, phone. Abdul, I you Muslim, you can eat a human. Khad, Khad Walid, he ate a Muslim. He cooked him. He ate him. And I can show you right now, even in videos in YouTube right now, about the the the, the, the high school ed, uh, education in Izhar University, uh, in the in the in the college books, teaching that if a Muslim. He leave Islam, we can eat him without cooking him. If it's a Christian, we have to do barbecue him. Do you want me to show you the video? I'm not, no, I'm not I joking. Can... I can show you the video. I want to show you the video? No, the other, the other university... Then don't, don't tell me, don't tell me you don't. You eat pigs, you eat a human, you eat everything. So now I'm asking you, how the, how, how, how the pig is dirty, filthy, and then if you are hungry, you can eat him. It says only if you're dying of hunger. That's the only way you can have it. Doesn't say dying. Oh, it says machmasa. Machmasa means says, hungry. Oh, yeah. Secondly, isn't it the Quran says it's lawful for you to eat the food of the the people of the book? Yes. Okay. But not the pig. Well, where it says pigs. that? It says I I make it lawful for you all their food. Show me where it says except but, the pig. 
It is not pig, not pig, not pig. Show you me have what to it says. Show me what it says, except the pig. No, because he, he already knew. He's in the Quran. That he what do you mean? Uh, uh, that's clear. I mean, if he knew, then he should he should say, except this. He should, he, should, he should not say except pig because it's, it's already in the Quran that he can't eat pig. So no, why is the Quran saying, did not come in an order. So when you say such a thing, that will be a problem. It's, the Quran is not consistent book, is it? It is consistent. Okay. Let's talk about so, Christ. So uh, uh, one verse says you cannot marry Christian women. Other verse says you can marry Christian women. Is that true? <laughs> that <we> can... <laughs> cough, yeah, cough. Uh -huh. Yeah. So each time you are in the corner, you cough. You know, listen, is it true that the Quran in one verse says don't marry non-Muslims and other verse says today I make the, the Christian, the Jews, women lawful for you. So the Quran is a book of not consistent. The Quran says you can do muta. Did you do muta, uh, Safaras? Muta, not muta. That's for the bloody Shias, man. We but, don't do but that this is in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 24. Is the Quran is the book of the Shia alone, not the Sunni? Get muta. See, people got more important things to think about. See, each time about. we put you in the corner, you say we have more important. So Jesus, Jesus will come I back to destroy the destroy the pig, the pig, which is somebody acting like a pig, like Muhammad, no, and no, and no, to and to and to destroy muta because Jesus forbid us from doing muta, forbid us from fornication, and you Muslims are following a fornicator and you practice fornication as part of your religion. No, no. No, 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 no. He's gonna kill okay. a pig and cross. Can, can a Muslim marry his mother? Look at CP. This is not important for me. These, these topics. No, it's important. important. You see, you no, Muslims are very silly religion. You focus on a poor pig. And by the way, pigs are, if they are dirty as you claim, you know, uh, the, the, uh, all Muslims they take insulin, and the insulin is made from pork. In the top of that, all the surgery when you stitch it up, somebody they use, uh, uh, you know. Uh, the stitches is made from uh, a pig, so pigs is saving the life of millions. Muhammad, he killed millions. The Jews don't eat pig. Why? Because the, because why. their book, he forbid them from eating it for a reason. I told you why. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is the truth. We, and we, Jesus we, we, said, and Jesus said, make it clear that it's not what go in your mouth will make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. Do you agree with that? That was that was a hand. Washington, I'm asking you, Jesus, Jesus said, what do you think about this comment? When Jesus said, it's not what go and show your mouth make you dirty, it is what come from your mouth. Read the verses. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, what do you think about it? Huh? Listen, listen to my answer, listen to my answer. Huh? The Jews come to him, asking, asking him by the hand ritual. He said, they were saying to that, uh, Jesus that these people are not, Washing the hands before they eat. This is why Jesus said, "It is not what goes in, or it matters about what goes out." It doesn't out. matter. It do this is goes for everything. No, no, it is not. It was a hand. Okay, it was, it no, doesn't hand. matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He said, "It does not. It does not make you dirty. It's what go in your. Do you put your hand in your mouth?" No, he was. He was saying. Okay, to him, but it does no not problem. Matter. But listen. So it's still. It's the, it goes for everything because it's not what make you dirty. It's what you eat. It is what you do. What you say. So you're a prophet. Uh, okay, I will go with you now. Uh, yeah. According to Islam, did Allah forbid pigs before Muhammad? Uh, yeah. Who? Who? Huh? Yeah. Before, I want you to be careful now because I'm going to give you a spank. It's going to leave five fingers in your, in your I don't want to say where. So well, listen carefully. Before Muhammad, did Allah ever forbid eating pigs? To Abraham or whoever. It was only given that that law was given to uh, Moses, I'm sure. Ah, it was given to Moses. Guys, did you see? Did you hear it? It was given to Moses. So now, if I show you that Muhammad is a scam and it's what was not, what you will do? Yeah, go on in. Huh? Go on in. Show okay. Me, Here we go. And that will get you busted, you and your religion and your Mr. Pig. Chapter 3, verse number 93, it says, All food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. Only. He made it unlawful to himself. And that was not the pig. So all the food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. 
Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so it's not yeah. Allah who sent him what is lawful. He decided I'm not going to eat this. So based on this, all food, all food, except what Israel, not Moses. Yeah. Okay, and he forbid himself, not God. No, but God said to him in the Quran. That's false. Read, 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 read. You, re you want to read that interpretation or you will cry then? No, I'm not going to cry. But so they God don't tell me, it doesn't say that, CP. It says in front of you, all food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. So there's no food is not lawful. All food. Well, I need to read the context of that. The context, context, the context. Read the context. I mean, you Muslims are funny. What, uh, by the way, when you say context, are you are you laughing at yourself? What the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. What the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. This is a stupid book. This is the Quran, the most silly book ever. You can take a verse from here, add it in different pages. Nobody even would notice. CP, these piggy in the ass. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go back to zero now. So why Jesus now in heaven and Muhammad is dead? I told you before, he has got certain things to do. He got something to do. Earth. Okay. Uh, why Muhammad, he have nothing to do? Let me give you these uh, details. No, no. Why Muhammad details. have nothing to do? I mean, you see, if you watch American movie, you will see that the hero is the one who lived to the end. Everybody die. The police die. Criminals die. The guy who hold the phone for the hero die. Everybody die, except the hero. The, you know, the American uh, uh, boy. So I'm asking you now, your prophet right. is dead from the beginning of the movie. Jesus <coughs> is alive. Does that mean that he is the hero and Muhammad was just a comparse? Now, I, you know, let me answer, please, without mm. interrupting. Okay, One go. minute. Let me uh -huh. get a full, full answer, please. Mm. Prophet Muhammad was successful in his mission. Did you say he Prophet got... Muhammad? Oh, you know, even you know, you're in, interrupting again, CP. Every time I speak, you interrupt. Because you are Come making on. an insult. You know, the guy he himself he said, "I'm not a prophet," and you are yeah. saying to me, "He's a prophet." Ah, well, you Muslims are. We continue. Go ahead. Oh, come on. Uh, he was successful. He 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 got you know Arabia you know under under his control. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, he that's false. That's false. No, 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 but, no but let me let, let me. That's answer. false. But, that's but a false. That's false statement. Muhammad he went all the way to Tabuk and he failed. This is Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Tabuk. It's a part of Saudi Arabia. He took all his men. He took more than ten thousand with him, and then other other four thousand joined him. And then he went all the way there and he got busted and he went back. He failed. In the top of that, when he died, all Muslim almost left Islam. So how how that is successful? And then in order to make them uh, come back to Islam, the Caliphate, you know. Uh, 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 Abu Bakr, he waged war, I call it the war of Abu State, and then he killed everybody who refused, and then this is how your Islam continue. Otherwise, Muhammad, he failed, and until now, Islam has failed. Let me show you how Islam failed. Who is the one who killed the Caliphate, the Muslims? Who is the one who is the one who killed Muhammad? The Shia, they say Aisha and Hafsa. Who is the one who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? The Muslims. Who is the one who killed everybody? Ali, Muslims. Who is the one who killed Fatima? Muslims. So you Muslims, you say this is success, Imagine if Jesus, he finished his mission and then all his disciples are killing each other. Is that a success? Please let me answer. Let I'm me asking answer full, you. Full I'm answer. asking you. Isn't it the disciple of Muhammad, if we can call them disciples, the gang, they were killing each other, yes or no? What's that? Is it true that all the gang of Muhammad, including his own family household, they were killing each other, yes or no? Don't kill each other. No, 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 no. Did Aisha took an army to kill Ali? I don't, I'll leave the kind of stuff. You don't believe? That, don't Who are you? That. It's not up to you. Don't it's not up to you. Aren't you, aren't you. Are you a Muslim Sunni or you are a Muslim uh, BMW? She has, I've, I've, I've got the own... Uh, no, this is this is Muslim people. Sunni story. Aisha, she took an army to fight Ali. And we can show you the reference right now. More than 10,000 people get killed because of Aisha. She wanted to kill Ali, and then Ali, he, did, he, he destroyed her army, and then he captured her. Is that true? Yeah, she, she took uh, army, she, but Okay, so you want to say she was a very bad woman. I understand. Now, let us go. Is it true that Amr al-Khattab is the one who tried to burn the house of, uh, of, of Fatima, and he is the one who caused her death? Oh, no, no, no. I don't believe all this kind of stuff. Do yeah, you want me to show you reference? 
me, let me answer my who phone. Who is the one who killed the caliphate one by one? Okay. All of them, they are Muslims. So you see here, Islam is a bad religion. Muhammad did not succeed to make a religion. No. He succeed to create a gang, and all of them, they are killing each other for the sake. Do you watch the, for the movie called The Game of the Throne? That's Islam. A conspiracy, a liars, a fraud, people killing each other, putting poison to each other, slaughtering each other, kidnapping each other. This is your, this is your Muslim. So let's go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. You say it, you say it, that Muhammad, he have no job to do in the day of judgment. Is that correct? What's up? What's up? No, he got his uh, message. He got a full message to the people. What is his, message? What is his message? We all know what message is. What? No, there's no message. message. I challenge you. Show me the message. My word. What is the message? There's no message. One verse says do muta. He says don't do muta. What is the, to say to, to give a message? You don't give to a message oppose itself. One verse, one verse says alcohol is great, is amazing, it's a sign from Allah. Is alcohol is amazing, miracle from Allah or not? Alcohol was allowed at one time, but then it got... This is not the question, focus with me. Is alcohol is a sign from Allah, it's a miracle, it's amazing, it's a beautiful, or it's not? No, no, at the start it was okay. I'm not start, asking you if it was okay or not, focus with me, Abdul. I'm asking you, is it amazing? Is it beautiful? It is a, a sign from Allah. It's a miracle of Allah. Or it is from the work of shaitan. It's the work of the shaitan. So how in chapter 16, verse number 67 says it is a sign from Allah? Well, it might have been from a fall. Huh? It might be for a fall. It was. It was. It was okay for a fall. But I'm not today, asking you if it was okay or not. And since when it's okay to have fornication? This is stupid. So do Musa allow fornication before Muhammad? So Muhammad he allow it? This is stupid, my friend. This is carefully. I'm asking you now. Focus with me. Focus with me. Stop touching your phone, okay? You are more lost in your phone. You, you, what's wrong with you? You're acting like Muhammad with a child. Listen. It says here in front of us that alcohol is a great drink. It's a goodly provision. Goodly provision. Who is talking Allah? And it's a sign from Allah for those who have wisdom. So according to your God in this verse, those who drink black label, and they are drinking it, uh, and they have wisdom. Read it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Read it. Take a black label shot so you can understand the verse better. It's not chapter. The chapter of the bees. I mean, even your religion is a zoo. Bees, spider, elephant. What's wrong with you, Muslims? So, chapter of the bees, verse number 67. You, you asked me a question about the coming of Jesus, and now you change. Well, talking about of... the coming of Jesus because you said he is going to tell us what is forbidden. But as you see, it's a miracle from God. God he, no. God, God, he created the pig. The pig is not exist by himself. He created him for a reason. But you never let me answer why Jesus... Okay, now I'm asking Jesus. you, is it alcohol? Don't change the topic. Is alcohol, just to show you how, just to show you, said, you said your prophet is a prophet. He's not a prophet. He's stupid, you know? When, when, when in, his, in his time, when he was alive, you know, he, he, he loved to drink. When he was dying, because he can't drink no more, and people, they start fighting, and people, they make a mockery of this religion. So he said, they don't, and he, by the way, that not a single verse in the Quran says, alcohol is forbidden. Do you know that? It says, which means avoid it. There's not a single verse in the Quran. It says it's forbidden. It says it's Satan's handiwork, obviously. Okay, so how this verse says this is a sign from Allah? It's a sign because it was it was allowed to be drunk at first. That's why. What? It was it was allowed to be drunk. Why because, Allah allowed to be drunk? Because obviously, you know, there was there was there was they were thinking in Israel too at the time of Why Jesus. Why Allah Israel. allow all this time people to be drunk? Well, I don't know, but but he gave the final message to Prophet Muhammad to have it complete. Okay, Allah Muhammad, in his time, Muslims, they were drinking until almost his death. And then he, is, he says, Ijtanibu. He did not even forbid it. He did forbid it. No, he did not. He, he says, Fajtanibu. Ijtanibu mean avoid it. 
he avoided it. Okay, what is the avoid. punishment? What is the punishment in the Quran for drinking alcohol? They were getting, they were getting, uh, I'm sure they're getting uh, whips. Dip, 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 dip. Whip. I'm asking you, show me what is the punishment of a drinking alcohol in the Quran? There's no punishment. But so how Muhammad, how Muhammad, he have a message and the message, he have a law, Sharia, Sharia, I mean a law supposedly, right? But this law is stupid because here it says, this is a provision, goodly provision, and it is a sign from Allah. You say to me, this is the handwork of shaitan. In the front of me, the verse says, this is the handwork of Allah. Therefore, Allah and shaitan is one. No, because all his companions and, and the followers here, they... I'm asking they... you, how the verse says, this is the sign for those who knows. What is the sign here? Why Allah making the, the, making the alcohol as his own sign? I can make alcohol at home. Does that mean I'm Allah? The sign it says it says in in one verse it, it says uh, alcohol in small quantities is okay, but as a, as a, as a whole is not good. Uh, guys, in a small quantity, where it says that? The, there is one verse where where it says, if I if I knew that we talk about this, I would have I would have got the verse. It uh. says in Quran. Allah says in tiny bits it is good for you. But okay, thank you very much. If this isn't true, that's mean that alcohol is not forbidden. What is forbidden is, if it's forbidden, is not to be drunk. Well, here we go. We have the we have the the the, the Bible says that drunken will not go to heaven. So it is the Bible who forget for forbid, and it says it clearly that dr drunken will not go to heaven. Quran nowhere it says that drunken people will not go to heaven. Quran, the, nowhere, nowhere it says that people who they are homosexual will not go to heaven. Quran, nowhere it says fornicators will not go to heaven. Quran says everybody is going to go to heaven. Christian, Jews, homosexual, everybody. Even, you know, yes, last time you just spoke to you, you said to me, Allah will judge between goats. So goats are Muslims. You forgot? No, but that's the goats. I'm talking about animals. Talking okay. About animals in this what do you mean not, uh, what, what? Okay. When Allah, he <laughs> sent a donkey, when Allah, he sent his donkey, Al-Burak, from heaven. Is this donkey, yeah. is he like he, Allah, he rent him, or the donkey he live there? It doesn't matter about donkey, if he took his donkey to uh, heaven or not. That doesn't matter. It was That's al Buraq. al Buraq was sent down from heaven. Yeah, um, yeah, um, um, okay. I'm what? Okay, so I'm asking you now, where is the donkey coming from if there's no animals in heaven? Well, it could have been created. Okay, that's mean in heaven there is animals. And your God, Allah, he have a donkey, his limousine. He's called al Buraq, And he's so huge. <laughs> yeah, cough, cough. So don't make things up. In the top of that, you know, if we if we are, uh, look here in front of us, uh, when the Muslim, they say that Jesus is coming back to correct what is the problem, that means Jesus is the one, the only one is correct, not Muhammad. Muhammad, they could not correct anything. Okay, I'm asking you now, I'm asking you now, where is the correction in the Quran? Where is the correction if, if Muhammad is have a message? Where in the Quran says that fornication is forbidden? The Quran says fornication is halal. The Quran says in chapter 4 verse 24, you can do muta. You said to me, this is from the Shia, but this is a Sunni book. The Quran is a Sunni book, and your prophet, he practiced it, and the Sunni, they practice it. And even there's some hadith says that even the caliphate after the death of Muhammad, they practice it. So when you Muslim, you lie to us, you say that Islam have a message. There's no message. This guy, he say things, and he change his mind in the second day. Let me show you this verse. As long as you don't want to answer this verse because it's embarrassing. Your God is sitting. Take, take a note. Listen, 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 listen. Is it true? Is it, is it true? Is it true? Is it, is it true that your prophet? Is it, is it true? Is it, is it true that your prophet he make a law? He changed his law second day in the morning. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true that your prophet he make a law? He received a law from God, and then second day in the morning, he canceled the law of God. Is that true? No, 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 no. CP, you know, let me answer my chapter two, argument. Chapter 2, verse 106, read it. CP, you asked me a simple question. What is Jesus is going to do? I was okay, going to answer. Just, you uh, uh, this is a connection with Jesus. Jesus coming back to defeat the devil no, and his kingdom. So Jesus is going yeah. to come. He will destroy the Kaaba. He will take Muhammad, put him in the zoo. So he make example of him in hellfire. 
And those who don't believe in Jesus, they will be punished severely. I'm asking you, in front of you, is it, does it make sense that there is a God, He sent an amazing message, and then He make you forget the message, and then He will make a better message, or similar message. Explain this verse for me so we can die laughing. No, you don't die laughing. Okay, I, answer. I go ahead. I'm listening. We know what Jesus is, 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 is going to do. He's going to kill the Antichrist. The topic. The okay, yes, Jesus will kill the Antichrist. Muhammad is dead. He can't kill him again. I mean, you, can't kill, you can't kill the guy twice, but he will resurrect him just for fun, maybe, and just to give an example. But listen carefully. The verse in the front of you says that Allah, he sent revelation, and then Allah, he abrogated revelation, and then Allah caused to forget the revelation, and then Allah will bring better revelation. And then Allah maybe will bring some of that revelation. What the heck is that? See, I have nothing, nothing to do with this. This is not, not my topic. No, this is what, this is have to do with everything. Your prophet, he keeps saying lies. He cannot even maintain his lies. He repeat the lie twice. The lies don't match. So he have to come with excuse. Allah caused to forget the revelation. Allah will bring better revelation. Allah will bring some of that revelation. So if the revelation coming from one person, there's no way that revelation can be better than revelation. And there's no way that there's a God. He says, say how. And then he make you forget it. And then he say, say meow. And claiming that this is similar. So I'm asking you, what kind of God he sent the revelation? And then he abrogate his revelation right away. The guy in the morning, he wake up, he have a new revelation. He cancel the previous revelation. And then he, after he, and not only that, not only he cause, for, uh, cause you to abrogate, uh, some of them he for, make you forget. Did you forget your name? No, 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 no. So what kind of God he make his prophet forget the revelation? Why? Give me the reason. Why he make him forget the revelation? This, this, this is not important to me. This, this is, is important to, to me. It's not important to you because you are a mule. For me, I'm well, not a mule. So I'm asking you, what kind of God he sent a message? And then he said to his prophet, forget about it. I, I, but I just receive it. No, no, no. What? No, no, no. no Don't no. tell me no, no, Mr. No, no. Listen, why your God... Why your God, he sent revelation, and then he caused you to forget. Let's step, step by step. Let us focus with one. The first one, Allah, he sent revelation in the morning. Then after two hours, he sent you another revelation to abrogate the first revelation. Why? Is that sure? That was, that was, his, that was, his, own, uh, that was his own choice. Okay, well, but why? Why he abrogate his own decision? He just made the decision. Why he was wrong? No, he's not wrong. He just wanted to know. So he abrogated a second ago. It was okay. A second ago, a second after, it's not okay. Why is abrogating? You see, I can understand if abrogation happened through centuries, like you know, from the time of Moses. From from the time of Moses, there's a huge number of years. From the time of Jesus, for the time of Muhammad, there's a huge number of years. But to say something at night and you wake up in the morning and you abrogate what you said at night, this is stupid. That's no, not stupid. Was so what's the point? Tell me. Tell me. I will. I will say to you at night. You cannot eat shish kebab. In the morning, I can make a revelation again. says, you can eat shish kebab. So why afternoon yesterday, I said to you, you cannot eat shish kebab no more. And in the morning, I say the opposite. Give me the answer. That is, that is like bloody Israel. Like uh, God is saying to him. What the, Israel? This the... is this is about Islam, my friend. What Israel? His name is Israel. This is your prophet. This is about a verse about your prophet. Chapter 2, verse number 106. Yeah, I want to abrogate it. Okay, it's cool. Okay, but you is it changing second day? Not even a year after, not even 10 years after, second day. There's not, nothing wrong with that. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Give me an example of Muhammad abrogating something and he changed it second day. He did not change it, Allah did. Okay, uh, that means Allah is not God because Allah wasn't, wasn't right. So he decided to fix it. He didn't want to fix it, he just wanted to know, change it. That's all he is. Okay, okay, so far. Okay, thank you for calling, my friend. No one can fix someone like you. You are brainless. Okay. Just uh, take a hike. Let us see if there's another Muslim. What a stupid religion. Jesus coming back to kill the pig. There's no better problems in this earth. There's hungry people, there's starving people, there's prostitution, there's a child abuse, and Jesus coming to kill the pig, brother. Brother, Jesus will kill the pig. Aren't you happy, Ziz, brother? You have a big mission, brother.
he will kill the pig. Like the pig is there, and Jesus is coming, and brother, and he will shoot the pig. Somebody saying that Christian prince should know that a lot of Muslims left Islam because if they would do it, and a lot of Muslims, they became proud of Islam because of David Wood. All those who have big channels now, they are big because of David Wood. Mimi Hijab was a challenge in me. David Wood jump. Sheikh Uthman was a challenge in me, but he don't dare for sure, both of them. David Wood jump. And what happened? Their channel grows so crazy. What's your business? The guy is talking to me. <laughs> so if you do good, that's not an excuse to do bad in the same time. You do not know how to debate, obviously. You go there all the way to San Diego and you start talking about philosophy. What about asking a question is very embarrassing. And people, they get upset if I say that you do not know how to debate. Not a single debate. I mean, they don't know the debate. Number one rules of debate, don't have a moderator. A Muslim, he hide behind the moderator. Secondly, open conversation. No time for you, no time for me. Number three, you have to be rude. Because as long as you are not rude, you did not say anything truthful yet. It got to hurt. What is the point of two people going in the stage to do, uh, you know, uh, fighting, boxing? And they both, uh, or one of them, he didn't want to hurt the other guy. <laughs> so, so he did not know how to debate. It's a fact. He is very good in short videos. He can beat everybody in short videos. He goes straight to the point. He makes very smart statements. He can beat everybody, including me. I cannot make short video like him. But in the debate, bingo, he is not there. And you can tell him that. I mean, I'm not saying that in his back. You can go and tell him. If he calls us right now, I will tell him that too. Uh... So anyway. When we speak uh, about a person he is not doing good in debate, we are not putting him down. You know, he is way better than many Christians sitting at their home, they're doing nothing. They never even open their mouth. They don't even dare to open their mouth. So we're not putting the guy down. We are just trying to fix his way of debating. And uh, he don't listen. He still don't listen. And he will never listen. When you are in a debate, you get the guy busted right away. And after, after we hang up, you go make them videos about answering the guy. So why you, why you went all the way there? Can I call? Yeah, well, I said Christians and Muslims can call. The word topic is, why Jesus in heaven? Do you need the permission? No, just text me in Skype and I will call you. Text and tell me I'm Christian. I'm not going even to say your name. And never waste your time trying to refute a Muslim from the Bible. It's a waste of time. If the guy don't believe it, why you want to read it? <laughs> I mean, who is, who is the silly here? You can explain the Bible for him for the coming 10 hours. The guy will take a nap. He will say, you are done. Okay, your Bible is corrupt. <laughs> but when you get him busted from his book, what he can do? This is why they don't dare to speak to me. When Mimi Hijab, he said to the Muslim, who you want me to debate? They said, the Christian prince, Christian prince, he make a lot of Muslims. Did he debate me, the coward? He, he was so much intimidated to the point they prepared, cut it, audio, uh, edited videos or audios. He don't dare to debate me. And hang up on him. Did you say that? I was quoting your stupid prophet, Mimi Hijab. That's what I said to him in his face.
Shut up, you know, shining up on him. They don't even dare to hear it. No mercy with liars. No mercy with fa fa fabricators. No mercy with people who follow Satan. Who promote Satan. Throw it in their face.